everybody, my name's Hannah and welcome to my channel where we talk about all things spooky. And welcome to my spooky season uploads where I'm uploading two to three times a week every week in October. So I wanted to, want to apologize because last week I only ended up posting one video. So instead of uploading three, I'm going to try and upload four videos this week. I really tried to make a video last week, but I ended up being really busy last week and I ended up getting sick. So that did not work out. So I ended up only being able to make one video. Also, I just wanna say that I'm wearing a cute little um, Halloween shirt. I don't think you guys can tell. It says current mood with the jack-o'-lantern, but like, you can't even see them because the letters are black and this is a gray shirt. So whoever made the shirt wasn't really thinking correctly, but I thought it was cute anyways and bought it. <laughs> so anyways, today we are talking about a very Halloween type video. We are talking about the origin of Halloween. So I really wanted to make this video, obviously for my spooky season uploads. I wanted to wait till it gets a little closer to Halloween to be able to make this video and now it's close. I mean Halloween is next week Halloween is already next week. Why not make it very Halloweeny and talk about How Halloween came to be a lot of people think that Halloween is the devil's birthday Which is not true at all. I don't know Who thought of that and how it came to be but it's it's not like that. It's not a day of worshiping the devil either, which a lot of people seem to think. So I think that this video is going to be pretty educational. So to start off, the first celebration that originated Halloween was Soen. Soen is spelled like this, which looks like Samhain, but it's actually pronounced Soen. So Soen is a Celtic celebration where they believed that on Samhain, October 31st, the veil between the human world and the spirit realm grew thinner. Okay, so on Samhain, spirits crossed over to the human world. Many spirits came to the human world during Samhain. So to celebrate this, the Celtics had bonfires and dressed up in costumes to scare off the evil entities, the evil spirits, so that they weren't welcomed in this world. So that's where it starts of people dressing up for Halloween. During Samhain, they even burned crops and animals to sacrifice to their deities. Samhain is actually celebrated today, but it's not by Celtics, it's by really whoever wants to celebrate it, and they don't celebrate it exactly the same way that the Celtics did, but they kind of celebrate it just like we celebrate Halloween. Later, the Romans ended up celebrating a festival that worshipped the harvest. The festival was called Feralia. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. I think I'm butchering it probably. Sorry about that. But Feralia is where they worshipped the harvest and their goddess and their goddess who took care of the harvest. So this tradition is actually what started the whole bobbing for apples thing during Halloween. Later, All Saints Day was created. All Saints Day was in Europe whenever the church tried to replace these traditions, these Celtic traditions by making All Saints Day. So All Saints Day, they had parades and people would dress up as angels, devils, and saints. And they just parade around, dance, and have fest like festivities. And families were given soul cakes, which was meant for kind of a sorry for a recent loved one passing. So All Saints Day was celebrated on November 1st, when in the day before that was known as all Hallows Eve, which we know that day as Halloween. After coming to America, we all know about the whole Salem witch trial things. So basically for a while, Sewin and 
All Souls Day and Halloween, whatever you want to call it, was not celebrated because anything that had to do with the dead, they associated that with witchcraft. Therefore, it was not celebrated for a while until later when Halloween started getting celebrated in America. At first, it was celebrated mostly in the southern states, such as Maryland, and then it ended up spreading. So, but on these days, Halloween was a day of dressing up and neighborhoods coming together. So neighbors would feast together and talk about ghost stories. But other than that, all things evil and dark was, was encouraged to be left out of the celebration. So this later ended up becoming Halloween. Here's a quick history on trick-or-treating. So in Europe, many people would ask to borrow money and treats on All Saints Day. So this ended up coming to America and kids would end up dressing up and going to other houses asking for treats and money, which later ended up being candy. So today we now have Halloween where kids dress up in costumes and go trick-or-treating and some adults dress up as well. Not always trick-or-treating, but there's a lot of parties, festivities, games, and horror movies, ghost stories, and all of that jazz. So that's all about the origins of Halloween. I hope you guys found that video interesting. I know I really liked researching all this and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Halloween is already next week and which I'm not mentally prepared for. Like I want it to be Halloween, but then Halloween's going to be over and then spooky season's over and then I'm going to be sad. <laughs> Common. So, hello. My hands are getting dry because it is. So I'm putting some hand lotion on. I know you see it too. And I'm in love with you. I know you feel it too. Joe and Dell. I'm on display for all you to see, show and tell.